Hello! Long time no see everybody. No, it's not Lee, it's me. <laughs> Don't panic though, Lee will feature heavily in this video. We're both going to a car show this weekend and we're both camping over at said car show. So um, yeah, got a whole weekend with Lee and uh, should be fun. So, less waffle than a Lee intro. All right, mate, we'll catch you in a minute. Look who it is. Not broke down then? No. I'll just show you our little camp that we had. I got here just before Lee. Heather drove the van in, I drove Agatha. And then Lee dumped the van in front of ours. And then we've been parking the cars here overnight. And uh, yeah. There's a massive camping field and uh, all the car stuff's over there. Do you remember that programme, The Fast Show, where Mark Williams' character came out of an old shed? Today I am mostly be wearing an Ambassador t-shirt. My Austin Ambassador, why red, why red, why red? <laughs> He's going to kill me when he watches this back. Here we go. The anticipation's high. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, campers. <laughs> we'll start walking around while the bloke's talking. They have music playing all the time here. It's so annoying. And it's easier with vocal. At least I don't get a copyright. So there we've got the usual fake Rarys. And uh, Mini Clubman Automatic there. That's for sale. Six grand on an Elridge, 1972. And then uh, there's Brenton's Austin Cambridge, nice Hillman imp. And uh, yeah, me and Lee are parked together, getting plenty of attention. That we're the only Allegro and uh, Ambassador here today. Vauxhall Chevette there, and then obviously. Uh, Sherpa van, Riley, Triumph 2500, another Mini Clubman there, Triumph Vitesse, and a Wolseley, and then round here, there you go, look at that, past 37. So we've got a Hillman Minx, MG, oh no it's not a midget, it's an Austin Sprite, so I thought it was a midget there, and then we've got an MG, is that an MGB, yeah, there we go, obviously Model T covered up there, uh, what else have we got? American Chevy, original Mini, Series 3, 109, Morris Minor, smart car, another Morris Minor, Nova, 205, and then we've got a Mark III Fiesta. It's an Austin A30, I think. We got a Sierra Sapphire, a Riley, something modern, Peugeot 307, Vanguard, standard Vanguard. I think that's probably a real Ferrari there. Look. Um, there's Michael look kind of in, in his how are we just yeah well, well, didn't they part you by the real ones <laughs> that's real isn't it oh, no, yeah. that Fiat 
So, Austin Healy. Oh, yes, because I couldn't get my car in last night when I wanted to. Which is great. And then, uh, again, we have another Morris Minor. So, I think that's about three so far. Uh, P1800 Volvo. An MG something. And as you know, I don't know a lot of cars. What's that on? Another Vanguard, standard Vanguard. Standard 10, maybe. TR6. Uh, XJS, Ford Zephyr. That's that real, is it a reliant of some kind, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and we got the Jag modern one another modern one old rover 90 is that a 90 i don't know what it is oh 75 75 i can't believe it. a focus i'll let the uh, mark 3 escort you know i'll let that go because i had one of them i was an a-rage though some American big truck Ram. Got another Austin. I think it's an A30, isn't it? And then uh, my first ever car. Cortina Mark III. It's a very base model, though. This one is. Let's have a look what that is. May have seen this before, to be honest, but. Uh, yeah, it's an L, so that was one of the base models. Mine was an XL, but it was still quite poverty spec. It's an early one on a K. Uh, mine was a P Reg, which was one of the latest Mark III Cortinas. So, yeah. And then we've got a sort of only falls and horses van, but it's the wrong style of van, but well, you know, why not? It's all fun, in it? We've got Lost in Seven. And we've got a Anglia. A Barbie car. XR3i. Music's back on. Lovely. Right then. While the music stopped, let's carry on. So we got a little Fiat, Fiat 500, I think. Um, we got another MGB. Austin, is it an A55 maybe? Oh, it's a Morris version anyway. And then we have another MG. I'm gonna have to go around the back here because we're blocked in. Let's have a look. No. So it's a it's a single version of an Hillman Imp, and then something modern. It's a Triumph Dolomite, but it's not a Sprint. It's just a Dolomite. Rover P6 and an MG TF, maybe. A couple more here. I'm obviously going to walk around again tomorrow. It's a two day show, so this will be slightly fractured, but you'll get the idea of what was knocking about. Another Morris Minor. More here than minis. And then stag there and another tr6 and yeah we'll do the uh, trucks and stuff and the land rovers and all the traction engines later uh, as i say apologies if it's in a bit of a messed up order I've had it three years. Um, it was a complete wreck when I got it. If you look at that picture in the back, and then all through lockdown, uh, while I was all over work, I spent every day working. And then one of the guys in my local bar, 
Right, it's the Sunday morning now of the show. Uh, as I've said before, apologies. There's always music playing at this place, so it could be a bit choppy, and it's going to be very quick. Uh, you can see a stag. It's a Plymouth something. Sorry, don't know American cars. And you will have seen some of these yesterday. And uh, quickly flip down this row here. A couple of more stags. Um, and the Ferrari we saw yesterday. It's either a Lotus or something. Lotus 7, I guess. And then, as I say, we saw the van yesterday. There's a Capri. A couple of Jags. Three Jags, in fact. There are, there are a couple more Allegros here today. Sunday's always busier. Again, we've seen these Allegros many times. They come to the uh, Gaiden show, etc. And they were here last year as well. Nice Capri 280 there. There's a couple of cars in the same colour as Agatha today. There's a TR6 there and then there's a Spitfire up the back. Um, yeah, so we'll go again with this row. I'm trying to start away from the music. And yeah, I'd love to walk around them a bit more. Unfortunately, the music's going to stuff everything up if I don't keep cutting it. Um, I'm hoping that this old-fashioned stuff that they're playing at the minute isn't as copyrighted, but we'll see. Uh, nice plate on the BRM, look. Worth a few quid, that. Again, there's the uh, other Allegro. The third row we're on. Uh, do you like this Mark IV Zodiac? Nice. And then there's a lot of BMWs. And first of two Maestros here I've seen at the minute. This blue one down here. And then there's a later one um, parked further back. Either one of them, Ledbury or the Apple ones, I don't exactly know. But it's on a Y Ridge. And then we've got a nice XR2 there. Right, I've got to do this row from the back because there's a load of people sat on chairs in front of their cars, which is completely their right. Um, it's quite an early XR3, not even an XR3i. On, still got the clover leaves on it. I think they started on a W ridge, so it's still quite early on an X. I might be able to get through a few of them. I have to keep stopping for the music, unfortunately. So I am going to pick out just ones I like along here. There's a lot of modern, a lot of modern stuff anyway. Um, Gene Pitney's coming on now. Yeah, but that row is pretty. Modern anyway, a couple of Escort Mark IVs down the end there. We might get away with this row before the music's too loud. Um, obviously there's the most expensive car here, no doubt. Uh, yeah, a couple of these were here yesterday, I don't think that was. Um, looking at that Humber there, yesterday's video you'll have seen a Hillman Minx, a, a greeny grey colour parked somewhere up the end there unfortunately last night pulling off the car park it set fire and uh yeah it did a fair bit of damage they managed to get it out because there's loads of fire extinguishers knocking about that wasn't nice to see 
I mean, there's already twice as many cars here today as there was yesterday. Um, so yeah, there we go. There's the Maestro I was talking about earlier. That's uh, one of the later kit ones. Again, if you look at it, it's not marked up anywhere as a Rover or anything. As mine was when I had mine, it said Rover in the middle there. Now it just says Maestro. And again, I don't know if this is a Ledbury or an Apple, but it's a very late one. There we go. Yeah, there's the Spitfire I was on about in the same colour. And then obviously you can see me and Lee park together again. Lee's gone wandering off doing some filming of some kind. So we'll throw this together. I'm sure you don't come here for neat, well-produced videos. If you do, you're on the wrong channel. <laughs> we'll just throw stuff together. So, there we go. I am panning around quickly. The music stopped. Nice early Capri there, look. I think I've seen that before. And then, Austin 1100 maybe, or a 1300, don't know. Um, and then, is that a Toledo? Yes, I do like a Toledo, look. There we go. I would have one of them. And then there's a Zodiac Mark IV, but in a state version. It's gonna be pretty rare. I can't see there being many of them left. So the field's got a load of Jaguars on and Land Rovers. I'll try and get them in a bit um, when the grass has dried off. But at the minute we're still filling up. It's still quite early. It doesn't actually officially open till 10. Right then, thank you very much for watching. This has been me and him and him and me and him and me from uh, Statfold Barn Railway. Where? Statfold Barn thing. This bit here, up there. Oh right, okay. Yeah. Uh, road, rail, and ale. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and push that bell to get notifications of new videos. Can you hear him? He's a professional, <laughs> isn't he? He's right, posh, isn't he? <laughs> I've done it more than you. <laughs> Hold on a minute. <laughs> See you later. Have fun, folks. Bye.